Do you want to make your Excel spreadsheets much easier to use? Try making a table out of your data range. In this video, I want to go over seven reasons why to use tables in Microsoft Excel. If you want to follow along with what I'm doing here today, I'll put a link to this sheet down below in the description so you can click on it and then just make a copy and save it to your computer. Now, first of all, before I get into the reasons why we want to use a table, if you're brand new to this, I just want to show you how to create a table first. There's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, the first way uh, that you can do it, make sure too that you're uh, selected inside the data range that you want to turn to the table, turn into the table. So I'm just picking somewhere right in here. So if I go up to the Home tab, and then just take a look and follow the ribbon over to format as a table. I can select this and right away I can pick what I want it to look like. So I could choose something like this one. And right away it's gonna say, is this the range? Since I clicked inside of it, this is the range that I do want. I can see kind of the line around it and it will go all the way down to the bottom of my table. Does it have headers? Yes, mine does have headers. So I'm gonna hit okay and I have a table just like that. I can quickly change the formatting to on it. Uh, I can just go to any of these and you can see as I hover over, I get a different look. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna select this one right here. Uh, I did say I wanted to show you a couple different ways too to make tables. You can do a shortcut on this too. So uh, if I go ahead and just undo a couple steps uh, to control Z, and if I wanted to do you this shortcut, I could hit control T on my computer and I get the create table right here and I can go ahead and click it. The other way that I could do, if I go under insert, you'll find table here and I'm getting back to the same thing. So I'll just hit okay and I have my table back. So that's incredibly easy to use. Now let's get to some of the reasons why we wanna use our table. So the first reason what I want to show you is the formatting and I kind of showed you that already when I picked the different styles but there's a little bit more that you can do. When we created our table we've unlocked additional properties on our sheet. Uh, notice if I click into a cell over here that's not into the table and then I click in the table I get the tab up here table design. Uh, that's how you know you're working with a table also. Uh, but look at this so I've showed you the table styles here and we can change those quickly, but we have these different uh, items that we've unlocked with using a table. Banded rows make it really easy and quickly uh, to see data across the row. So if I uncheck this, you can see how it goes on or off. Uh, we can use banded columns if that helps with the visual too. Uh, but as you click on any of these, you can turn things quickly on or off if you want your filters on or off. But what I like in this too, you can quickly add a total to this. So if I go ahead and click total, and I'm just gonna stretch out this column so we can see the number. There we have a quick total of, the, of this entire column right here. So it makes it really easy to uh, format when you're using a table. The other thing I just wanna point out, and this is a quick, uh, this is something very quick. If I scroll down, if you take a look at this across the top where the headers are, if I scroll down, I I can always see the headers here. So this is something when I use a table, when I create a table, you're gonna see the header all the time when you scroll down. When we created our table, we automatically got filter buttons to each one across the top with our header. So if you look, we have these drop downs here that allow us to sort the column and we can choose multiple columns to sort down. So take a look at this. If I go and drop down under the year, I could sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest and then it would go through and put the year through just like that. And it does everything in the entire list of movies that I have there. I'm just undoing that last step. But now if I wanted to say, well, something more specific, I could, I'm going to undo with select all, undo all of them. I'll select just 2019, hit OK. And then I have a list of movies from, uh, from 2019. And I can see it's Walt Disney and Sony picture. But if I had a lot more information and if I needed to sort down, sort maybe by just distributor, I could go to this one here and pick uh, just Walt Disney and then I would have my uh, list, what I'm looking for. So I could use multiple columns through the filters to really go through the information to find exactly what I'm looking for. 
tables will expand automatically when you add new rows or columns. So let me give you a little demo on this. Let's start with a row. So we have 50 here. Let's see if I was continuing on. If I go to this last cell, since I'm using a, a total underneath, I'm gonna just hit tab. Notice how the uh, table expands and the color is there. So I could go at this point, start typing in my information for a new movie. The other way it will expand is to over on the column. So if I go and just click beside it and I was gonna type uh, worldwide here, just like that. You can see that I already have a filter that was added to it and everything. I have the banded rows that got put in place. So now it's just waiting for that information. So each of these, when I put worldwide, it actually uh, gave it a name range of worldwide. So the nice thing is within these tables that uh, each of these uh, columns are is actually a name range and you can add up these columns. So let me show you a little example here. So if I was just going to do a formula and I'm going to put, just put use some here as an example and I'm just going to choose domestic of an international right here so if I go ahead and hit enter now uh, you can see it automatically filled in so just by doing that one formula up here and you can see what the sum is doing it's doing the sum of domestic so it's taking things from this column because it's a name range to international and summing it up and if i go all the way down uh, we have a total if we can see how that 51 is zero but i can go ahead and just click it here and drop down and what am i looking for i could go and add my sum at this point but you have these different options under any of these so if i click under the columns i can go and actually do something like an average Average if I wanted to or you could pick what you'd want maybe a max and you can go through and find all those things very quickly even as you're expanding with more columns and rows another way you can sort information in your tables is to add a slicer so what I can do is if under the insert you can see that there is slicer and I'm going to go and just select slicer and for the little example here I'm going to go and choose uh, the year and we'll choose our distributor and I'm gonna hit OK. So at this point, I can take a look uh, at any movie. Let's say if we're going back to, if we're looking for Lionsgate, and if I was looking for a, specific, uh, for a specific year, I know right now they're in 2012 and 2013, but I could just choose 2012 and it goes and gets that one. So it gives me a, a, a attractive way to set up my searching, especially if I was sharing with somebody else and have the slicers there where they could just kind of select on what they're looking for. I can clear these very quickly and as I do, the entire list comes back. So with your tables, try adding slicers like this to sort through your data. With a table, you can create dynamic charts, so charts that will update as you put more information. So let me give you a little example. We'll put a pivot chart in this one. So I'm selected in this uh, table. I'm gonna go up to insert. Here's my pivot chart. I'll go and select it. Table seven is what this one's called. Where do I wanna put this? Well, I'm just gonna keep it on my same worksheet just so it's easy for you to see. Uh, where do I want, to, I'll put the information to come up in this cell. And at this point, I'll just hit OK. So as I select a couple items, and I'm only gonna pick, uh, we'll pick year and distributor here. If I go and close this, you can see this is what it's graphing. It was able to pull from the table this information, and I have this chart right here. If I was gonna go and if I started entering more information, and if I just paste in another one here, if I go back up to my pivot, uh, analyze I have this selected so if I go to this and hit refresh and then it slightly changes to adapt to it so that's another thing you can do within a table so I hope this video came in handy and maybe gave you a better understanding of tables and why you want, would want to be using tables. I have different lessons on different parts, whether it be uh, pivot tables or on slicers, and I'll put some links down below in the description and up above in the card. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.